Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of perovskite nanocrystal synthesis using a room temperature method. So basically this synthesis method only takes between few seconds to few minutes to synthesize these nanoparticles. And in particular, we are going to synthesize cesium lead bromide nanoparticles. And the synthesis of these nanocrystals is going to be happened under ambient conditions. So you don't need any inert atmosphere such as nitrogen or high temperature you, or vacuum. You only need like ambient conditions. The way we make it basically, first we dissolve the cesium and lead precursors into cesium, lead and bromine precursor into some polar solvents such as dimethylformamide, DMF. So we'll dissolve it in DMF. Then we take this DMF, uh, some of the DMF solution and dropwise add it to the other solution containing toluene, which is a non-polar solvent and some ligands. Ligands are there to basically passivate the nanoparticle surface so that they don't get agglomerated or they don't get bigger because we want the nanoparticles to be in the smaller, smaller size. So we add the ligand and we add non-polar solvent. And this method called ligand assisted reprecipitation method. So in the, presen in the presence of ligand, when you add a polar and non-polar solvent together, the precipitation of nanoparticles happens and this precipitation causes the nuclei formation and thus the nanocrystals grow over time as very quickly and as they grow the ligand basically passivates them which prevents the growth of nanoparticles further and that's how they become in the form of nanoparticles so we are going to use this method to make these cesium lead bromide nanoparticles which look highly luminescent under ultraviolet light so we'll be using this and we'll be doing the synthesis under ultraviolet light to show you how quickly these nanocrystals form and how bright they look after the synthesis, we also use the purification of nanoparticle surface to remove some uh, to remove some uh, ligands, and the way we purify it by using some anti-solvent and centrifugation. After the purification, we get pure ink of nanoparticles, which is highly luminescent and transparent in color, and desirable for LEDs application as well as display technology and solar cell application, and can be used in different type of applications. So yeah, let's, and I'll start the video. I'll start the actual demonstration now, and then you can, I'll, I'll ex explain you one by one how things go. Get started, guys. So here I am holding precursor solution, which is perovskite salts dissolved in a polar DMF solvent. Now I am going to add some of the precursor solution into a non-polar solvent, toluene, in the presence of some ligands. This solution, toluene solution here, is placed under the UV illumination for the clear visualization of the synthesis of these nanoparticles. As soon as we inject these, we'll see what happens next. Here, as we know that the perovskite constituent ions are much less soluble in non-polar solvents such as toluene. As we inject the DMF precursor solution into this toluene plus ligand solution, the sudden burst in the nuclei starts and the crystallization of perovskite happens. And in the presence of ligand here, the crystallization stops at certain point which prevents the further growth of nanoparticles and growth of the particle size and these nanocrystals look extremely luminescent under uv lamp after the washing of these nanoparticles we can see they are extremely bright with emission at 515 nanometer under the uv lamp moreover the colloidal stability of these nanoparticles ink is extremely high and they have very sharp emission so how do you like it? Let me know in the comment section how the video is and also let me know if you want some more details on these materials. I can make a follow-up video on it and I have also put my papers uh, based on these materials in the description so you can actually look for this paper and feel free to ask me questions if you have some. Thank you so much.